Hey everybody, Adam Christofferson from Winnebago Towables. Thanks for joining today. We're gonna go over the 2100 BH all new floor plan, the Micro Mini. Uh, before we go into the particulars of this floor plan, let's talk about some of the highlights of the Micro Mini segment from Winnebago Towables. One of the biggest things is that it is a lightweight compact towable. It's a seven foot wide box. Your traditional travel trailer is an eight foot wide, but this being a seven foot wide box, all of your floor plans are under 22 feet, under 4,000 pound dry weight, so it makes it very um, easy to tow and maneuver with a lot of different uh, mid-range SUVs and lightweight uh, low-duty trucks. Like we talked about being a seven foot wide box, you do not have you don't have to have all the accessories on your mirrors to see around, so very safe towing and good visibility. The frame, Norco NXG frame, it's a huck bolted frame. They've made a seven foot wide frame for us. Huck bolted being a more of a, a heavier duty application versus a welded frame, so that is standard across the board on Winnebago Towables products. Um, we have the you know the eight unique colors that we offer. The uh, high gloss T60 gel coat from Crane. So we, do, we talked about we have those eight bold exterior colors to choose from. Um, a couple other feature highlights of the Micro Mini segment. You're gonna get a standard power tongue jack. That was a running line change for 2018. You're gonna get a dual bowl stainless steel sink. Uh, we're applicable some of our smaller floor plans. We don't have the room for it, but majority of the floor plans will offer that. You've got the standard um, range with oven now and this uh, larger upgraded six cubic refrigerator, which offers you the separate uh, freezer and refrigerator. That was a running line change for 2018. Um, as we talked about the dry weights being under 4,000 pounds, but also the overall height being under uh, being under 10 feet, nine foot, nine feet, eight inches to the tallest uh, standard feature. So you've got a standard 13.5 AC, um, optional to the 15K AC. So um, not a lot of other options available in the micro mini segment. Uh, standard, you can get the 14 inch tires or you can get the off-road package optional on the micro mini segment now to where you get it raised up about four inches and then adding the 15 inch tires on there for additional ground clearance if you're looking to go a little bit more off-road camping. So those are some of the feature highlights of the Micro Mini segment from Winnebago to Ovals. Join me now as we look at the brand new 2100 BH floor plan. All right, now we're gonna take a look at some of the highlights of the 2100 BH floor plan. This uh, floor plan is new to the Micro Mini segment. It plays off the success of the 1700 BH. That 1700 BH though being a single axle, a um, little bit smaller dinette. Uh, we've got a lot more younger families coming in or people who need to sleep more than just two people or four people or they want um, more adequate dining space. So this 2100 BH joined the family of the Micros as a dual axle like we talked about earlier. Um, now you have legit dining for four people, comfortably seat four people around this dinette. And then you have the option to sleep more than four people because you've got your two people up front in your bed. You've got the bunks, which we'll hit on here in a little bit, but also the dinette area will collapse down for additional sleeping for one to two people. So um, as we take a look more up at the front here, like we talked about, you've got your main fixed bed up here. You've got nice windows on both sides of the bed for natural light and cross ventilation. You've got good storage up amongst the whole front of the, of the um, bed up here. And then down below here, you'll have 110 as well as USB charge ports for charging station. So um, the entrance door as you're coming and exiting the coach here, uh, we have included the new, uh, new entrance door. It is a friction hinge door, so no more gas strut or plastic clips to hold that door open. Also with it being friction hinge, it will um, help prevent from getting caught in the wind. It's got a built-in privacy screen as well. The, the screen door is a self-retracting screen door, so if it ever, um, you click that, it will sh uh, shut on its own, so that's a nice feature. Um, as we transition to the kitchen galley area here, if you're gonna have a travel trailer that can comfortably sleep for or dine for, you wanna have nice prep space here. So the countertop area, you have nice prep space, a dual bowl stainless steel sink, 
You will get sink covers for each of those to, uh, for additional prep space. We, we talked about earlier, you've got that range with oven that is a standard feature now and a six cubic foot refrigerator, which is a standard feature now. So something to hit on, a highlight of a 2100 BH is going to be the ducted roof AC in this one. Standard is the 13.5. You can option to the 15K AC, but fully ducted up into the whole living area here, back to the bunks and the bathroom area there as well. Um, so now we're going to kind of talk about some of the, the, the features in the back of the trailer here with the bunks, bunk area and the bathroom. So come on and take a look with me. All right, we're back in the uh, bunk area of the 2018-2100BH Micro Mini. Uh, some features of the bunks here. Uh, you got a nice window up in the top bunk there. Soft white LED lighting back here. USB charge port. And then uh, as far as storage goes, a lot of people will like to use the bunks as storage or maybe non-traditional uh, uh, campers with families will use the bunks strictly as storage. So you'll have access to storage underneath the bottom bunk. And then we do incorporate an exterior baggage door so you can load your cargo easily in and out of the bunk storage or bunk space area there. So um, some nice feature highlights of the bunk area. As we go back here to the bathroom area, you will see that you have nice, uh, nice size bathroom there with uh, good leg room uh, near the toilet. You'll have a nice size shower. Uh, we talked about earlier is the ducted roof AC in this particular model. You'll actually have two ducts going into the AC to get nice ventilation as well as a skylight roof vent. And then in the shower area, you do have a skylight to allow for more headroom in the shower area. So um, lastly, we're gonna recap some of the construction highlights from Winnebago Towables in the Micro Mini segment. All right, recapping the uh, Micro Mini segment here. You know, we talk about it, how it uh, is a shorter compact, lighter weight segment, but Winnebago Towables, we do not skimp on the, the, the materials and the quality here to keep when we're keeping that weight down. We still have the aluminum frame construction up front, side walls, in the floors. Yeah, you've got your NXG frame, you've got plywood floors, but we also have aluminum support structure in there as well. Um, we've got aluminum in the back, uh, we've got plywood up on the, the roof, and then uh, we've got a fully walkable roof, so you'll have a standard ladder. It is a TPO roof, so as you transition into the inside of the trailer, talking about some of the quality, we have solid wood frames and faces. Uh, the upgrade there, you do not have just a wrapped particle board. Some of the nice things are with our aluminum frame construction and where our cabinet tree is tied into, we also take a wood stud and insert it into that aluminum frame so that way you have a tighter, uh, tighter fit and finish. Um, some of the ceiling that we do, the transition moldings and sealing around the tops of the cabinetry is uh, some little things that a lot of manufacturers aren't going above and beyond to give you that overall fit and finish. So uh, appreciate all the time you've given today. Hope you can join us in the future for more videos as we talk to you about Winnebago Towables. This has been the 2018-2100 BH.